my whole life I was searching for belonging and um, being a Korean born in Canada, um, being raised in an, an area where there was very few um, Asians like myself, I, I never felt like I belonged anywhere. And so, you know, this, this pain, it stuck with me, you know, throughout childhood. And when I got into high school, that's when I found uh, marijuana. And for a moment, whenever I did, you know, smoke marijuana, I would forget my pain for a moment, and then it turned into a full-blown addiction. One day, I was just in my apartment and wondering what life was all about. I wasn't really searching for God at that time, but the strangest thing happened to me. God spoke to me and he said, pray. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, whoa, that was not my own thought. That was God. And so I got down on my knees and I've never prayed before. And that's when the Lord just met me in such a powerful way in that moment. I've heard people describe it as liquid love being poured over them. And I could relate with that, but all I could say is it was greater than any drug I've ever tried, you know? It was this peace that I've never known, you know, just, just come into my heart. And I started weeping, uncontrollably weeping, because I was experiencing something so powerful in this moment. And at the end, the Lord spoke to me again. He said, James, everything is going to be okay. I went to uh, the University of Waterloo, and I enrolled in religious studies after I had this encounter. And I was learning about all the different religions. And when I started to research Buddhism, it's almost like something became activated within me. But the more I went down that path, the emptier I felt. And that emptiness and darkness just came over me uh, worse than before, which brought me back to uh, drug, drug addiction. I fell back, I relapsed. One day, I was at a coffee shop in Kitchener, uh, in Waterloo right next to the university. And uh, I was with a friend of mine and we had just finished smoking a joint and we were really high, just sitting there really high. And a homeless man walks up to us and he looks at me and he says, God sent me to tell you that you're running away from him and he wants you to come back. He knew I was high and so he said, meet me back here the next tomorrow. Mm. And so I came back the next day because I was like, I can't believe he knew this about my life. So I came back and he just opened the Bible to the book of John and he shared the gospel with me. And for the first time, it was real. Jesus became real. My need for a savior, it became real. And I knew I needed Jesus. I knew that was the missing part of my life. In that moment, my desire, my search for belonging was found when I met Jesus.